everybody. Welcome back. Hey everybody, it's Silver Orpheus. Welcome back to the Pokemon Showdown Monotype Tournament Highlights. Last time we covered Neo Dagon in Kaijuham. And we also covered why you should never bring Horn Drill to a Pokemon tournament. Because trust me, people don't want to see that. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and talk about Enderben versus Risotto Nero. Um, so before we begin this part, I'd like to go on ahead and say that after um, Stone Cold William beat Okazooks, um, Okazooks bailed. And the end result was that um, he was eliminated. He was disqualified because he ended up um, leaving, even though he was in losers. And his first round, and his first round in the losers bracket was up against Risotto Nero. However, because of his disqualification, Risotto Nero is right here with his team of ghost types up against Ender Ben, with a team with, as I stated before, an R match, a team of Steel types. So this right here is a battle for fifth. Who, like, whoever loses this battle is going to tie with Stone Cold William or Kaiju Ham for 6th place. Not 6th, uh, 5th. So, let's not, let's not go ahead and wait any further and let's jump straight on in. Um, and yeah, probably should have done that earlier. God, I get that all the time. But anyway... Um, Risotto over here, as demonstrated with General JFA's match against him, loves to use status moves. And Ben actually pulled a really good um, switch out, but it doesn't really matter anyway, because Skarmory is now paralyzed. Brave Bird from the Skarmory connecting out into the Golurk. Um, so while this is going on, I should like, I'd like to address um, Risotto Nero's team. It's very offensive for ghost type standards, and I really do like it because of that. It's very different, and it's actually full of a lot of fan favorite ghost types. And even if a lot of the things here are very questionable, like why um, Giratina has Thunder Wave, but I guess the fact that it's running Hex on it kind of makes up for that. Ben going for the gyro ball, and that's something. So defog lowers evasion, and Giratina dies of toxic, and out comes Mimikyu. Mimikyu is a very annoying Pokemon to deal with because you can't one shot it because it has that disguise ability. God forbid it has a focus sash equipped to it. So if you so if you hit it again, it's just the focus dash will just activate and it gets to live another turn. So that's just very nasty to deal with. And but anyway, here's Ben's Excadrill, as threatening as it might be, but it lost 69% in the process, taking Mimikyu down. Uh Cofagrigus. Um this Pokemon in my opinion, is Risotto Nero's best Pokemon. It has the Mummy ability, so any physical attacks that connect with it will transform their ability into Mummy. Gothrogigas is also a very bit of a wall. It has Substitute, and it has Willow Whips to shut down all of Ben's physical attackers. So, the Escadrille. So... It's... really bad to deal with. Iron Head, the... Willow Lips here is going to take out huge power mall while it's like, like this thing is just okay now huge power is just straight up gone I mean mall I mean mall while now hits for just jack squat and that's kind of the thing with Cofagrigus it's kind of just there to annoy you and <laughs> compare and like especially with great physical attackers like this team for Ben it was really atrocious to deal with Risotto's um, mass span of ghost Pokemon. But anyway, here's Excadrill coming out with its Choice Scarf. 
And it's just kind of mowing down everything in its wake. Um, there is, like, yeah, Gengar's dead. So, Excadrill just kind of came up and cleaned that through. 30 turns, it's over. Both teams are very invest. Both teams going on with their legendary first. That's kind of... So... These two were the ones who called, um... Neo Dagon out for the illegal moves. And as of this point, Okazooks and Neo Dagon are both eliminated from the tournament. And Okay, let's move on. Like I can't find my statement. Um so yeah, these teams, like, I feel like they're really great. Risotto has that Mimikyu, Kofagrigus, Mega Gengar with Shadow Tag. I wonder if that thing ran Parish Song. Because if it did, Ben would have like been in a really nasty spot. Ben also had really bad luck during the set as well. Like his luck was probably the worst against Risotto, because like um Jude and his ghost types were just landing like all these really um, really mean status effects with the power, with the, and getting paralysis lucky. Um, well, Ben's over here trying to use toxic and stuff, and it always misses. So, not a very good situation going on, especially when you're in the eyes of Mimikyu and stuff like that. Shadow Sneak, I'm gonna just run ahead and... King Shield is a very, is it like a very annoying move that you have to watch for, too. Um... Why, um, maybe, why Risotto got the idea to go in for the, um, Swords again, um, when Ben could have just pulled the same tactic as before, is kind of beyond me. But this Kofagrigus is, like, I didn't get to fight it, but this is, like, the most ridiculous thing besides Josh's Lugia. This thing right here, in my opinion, is more of a threat than his than the Giratina. So Yeah, and then here comes Nightshade, and then Cortana's just gonna die from it. Mega Mawile just straight up can't do anything to Cofagrigus. Will o Wisps, huge power pretty much means nothing, it's pretty much neutralized at this point. Sucker Punch, huge power is pretty much eliminated at this point, so uh you're kind of in a bad spot. If I were Risotto in that situation, if I knew that the Mawile had Sucker Punch, I would have probably went for something like Protect and just let it burn more and more. Or I would have swapped out for something to preserve a threat like that. Because you don't just sack off like big threats like that. Um... It's kind of what Ben did with this Excadrill here. He he really didn't want to lose that Excadrill, so he just brought it. So he just brought it back in, put it on the bench until this very point. And now the rest of the team just gets mowed down. So um, that's kind of the thing, though. With things like this, like your every move could mean um, life or death situations, even on turn one. Because, like, a turn one move, and, just, like, if you're in situations like that, that can just mean the entire game. But, like, once you start making really, really good ones, then you're pretty much just in the clear to just come in and just wipe things out. Um. But, is. Let's, let me see if there's anything. Oh, yeah, we're kind of going out of order here because, um. Stone Cold William uh, versus Kaiju Ham actually happened before this, but we kind of—I kind of wanted to get this one out of the way first, just because it was the first one in the bracket lineup. And two, we already had the round uh, two winners matches done and over with, so um, kind of didn't want to deal with that. So I think once this uh, rotation is over, we want to end this highlight video over here. But, I feel like, but before we do, I may as well go ahead and announce the winner here. And the winner of this set was Enderben. Ben 
overall had quite an offense to counter Risotto's defense. And overall, um, Ben just straight up just wiped, just wiped out the ghost team. Um, not only that, Ben just had more of an understanding of this game than Risotto did. And more menacing opponents, too. I mean, Kafka Grigius wasn't a joke, but this Excadrill really wasn't a joke. I mean, yeah, Kafka Grigius over here is just over here burning Ben's physical attackers. And then just annihilating their abilities with Mummy. But Ben's Excadrill. One, it had the Mole Breaker ability. So if it suffered from le so if it had so if something like the Giratina over there had levitate, which it did, Ben's Excadrill could just go for Earthquake and ignore the um, the levitate. So Giratina would just take damage. Um, that was really that was like really bad for everybody. And oh god. So, Risotto Nero takes um, a tie for 5th place in this tournament. Um, how do I feel like he did? I mean, considering the fact that his only um, win throughout the entire tournament really didn't even get played out, that's kind of... I mean, being in Risotto's shoes right here is kind of a bad thing. Because for one thing, like... Your only win, you being a freebie. I mean, yeah, you got a higher place overall, but at the same time, you really didn't achieve anything, so... Why are we just... So, like, why are you pretty much just here? You're getting mowed down by people. Um, but anyway, that's Ender Ben versus Risotto Nero. Go ahead and tune in next time as we cover Stone Cold William versus Kaiju Ham. See you guys then.